what it's, what it's all about. Okay, so this is a <laughs> homemade cabinet. Um, dust chamber in some ways. So in other words, we've got the vacuum system there that's linked into the back of this chamber. Glass top. Um, here's where you put your hands in. And the air braces. Oh. There's the nozzle of it. So this guy's fabricated this special air abrasive unit, which we're about to use. It actually uses iron powder as an air abrasive medium. So it's, it's something we've, we've used in the past once on a specimen, but this is on a slab of, from the Elias, of thousands and thousands of echinoids, all in a, like a depression in the seafloor. And we think there's like starfish in with it as well. And iron powder seems to do really well. It seems to clean the matrix off without actually wearing away the calcite echinoid spines and the, and the tests of the, the echinoids. So this is a one-off uh, trial on this. So we're about to start this today. So we fill this air chamber up with, with iron powder. Okay. And um, there's a little vibration system. What's unique about this one, most iron powder machines, you switch them on, there's a foot switch there. The, you cannot regulate the flow of the iron powder. The only thing you can do is adjust the air pressure. But with this one, you can adjust the air pressure and you can also adjust the powder flow. So we can hopefully get more control on this sort of powder flow and get much finer results with it. We, and with iron powder, what you do is you, you sieve it before you use it, fit it in here. And then after when it fills the cabinet up, we then take that out, re-sieve it and reuse it. So you can keep using it all the time which is really good, but it's quite expensive. And with iron powder, as anyone knows, um, if the particles get on your clothes and you put it in the wash, it goes rusty. So that's one thing that, that we've got to be careful of. So we don't leave iron powder on any of the fossils thereafter because they tend to rust very quickly and then stain without irony red colour. So that's something. But we'll see the results later on. Us, but when Ash films it again, hopefully looking down in the cabinet or we'll see all these thousands of echinoids that the guy wants to see. But the whole block is about this long and about this wide. So it is it's really, really big, big slab. So we're, we're hoping to get the lot done and um, it'll go in his private museum uh, as and when he builds a goddamn thing. But it's, it's, they are beautiful specimens because all the echinoids have got their spines attached. So it really look fantastic. We hope they will, don't you? That's all we've got for you today from the Etches collection. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more and hopefully we'll see you next time.